and I'd like to thank Todd and everyone at the Western New York Independent Living Center for the opportunity to address you briefly today. The COVID pandemic has really upended all our lives, and I regret that I cannot be with you in person. I am the New York State Assemblywoman from the 146th District, which is the towns of Amherst and Pendleton. I was elected in 2018, and I'm just finishing up my first term. Prior to that, I worked for almost 30 years as a law clerk to judges of the New York State Appellate Division and the United States District Court in Buffalo. When I retired from federal court in 2016, I joined my husband's private law practice, representing parents of students with disabilities in special education cases. So I spent my entire legal career administering justice, upholding the rule of law, and advocating for the underrepresented. My priorities include quality public education, affordable health care, job growth in Western New York, and initiatives to protect our environment and combat climate change. I believe, personally, that people with disabilities have the same rights as all citizens. Lives of dignity and respect, a free appropriate public education, employment opportunities, personal autonomy, and meaningful social relationships. I've always advocated for the rights of people with disabilities and will continue to do so. I've made every effort to meet with constituents with disabilities, self-advocates, and advocacy groups. I've visited residents of group homes in their homes, and I've heard the stories of parents and caregivers. I would like to see more housing for people with disabilities integrated into our neighborhoods and transportation options that better serve their day habilitation and socializing needs. People with disabilities should enjoy the economic and social equality that all other New Yorkers experience. The COVID-19 pandemic has upended everything for everyone this year, including daily routines for people with disabilities. I'm concerned about the effects of isolation and disruption. To protect our most vulnerable population from the coronavirus, I've called for COVID-19 testing at all OPWDD facilities and zip codes with high positivity rates. My philosophy shapes my priorities as a public official. Similarly, a budget is a statement of a society's priorities. New York has shown itself to be a leader in supporting people with disabilities, but there's always more to be done. So often, the issues come down to funding. Direct support staff who provide critical daily services should earn a living wage. But my philosophy is not just words. I've also put it into action during my first term in the Assembly. Specifically, I made a budget funding request earlier this year for the expansion at the Summit Center in Amherst. Summit provides an alternative school experience for school-aged students with autism and severe behavioral disorders. I secured funding for a disability awareness training program for police officers and other first responders to ensure that they can effectively help all residents, regardless of ability or medical condition. I'm a co-sponsor of a new bill in the state legislature that would require school districts to provide educational and support services to students with disabilities until, until such students turn 22. This summer, I advocated for more federal funding for behavioral health and substance abuse disorders. My letter to New York's two uh, U.S. Senators was supported by 20 of my Assembly colleagues. I look forward to continuing these efforts and more during another term as the representative in the Assembly from the 146th District. I thank you for this opportunity to share my views and best wishes to everyone. Thank you.